everyone, uh, thanks for watching uh, the videos today. A little bit different, I'm um, just doing dash cam uh, footage um, rather than just having me on the screen. Um, this one, I mean, we just been to eat over at Jason's Deli, so uh, a little bit of a surprise at this. There was just so much snow on the ground and they hadn't whoever cleans the car park there hadn't done it that well so there was great mounds of snow everywhere but uh mrs womble was having a bit of an issue getting into the into the truck because well the side steps were rather slippery on that obviously because they were packed up with snow and, and su such so there's a little bit difficult here getting into there and um I detached the video, by the way, because I didn't want to uh, have all the recording of, of uh, what happened. But she, uh, like I said, had difficulty getting in, into the truck. And in a moment, you'll see that a manager actually rushed out of the building to uh, come to her aid. I was trying to get, about to get out of the truck and... Uh, Anyway, the manager came out, manager lady came out, who I'd never seen her before, and uh, helped her get into the vehicle. Very nice of her to do so. And uh, was able to help her get in. She can't really see a whole lot on here at the moment because, well, it wasn't all on it was on the dash cam rather than a video pointing towards uh the passenger area but anyway uh manager lady got her into the into the truck and uh went back into the shop and we actually uh got an order came in we moved away from the building and as I'd moved away from the building, back to out, out of that gap, a uh, offer came in, and it was for. Well, you'll see it in a moment. It come up in a minute. It's see of uh, China eighty eight, and um, we just headed off down there. You'll see it pop up on the next part of the video. There's several uh, videos on this one, just uh, clips and such. All of these are just three-minute clips of uh, me driving through the various areas. So there you'll see that you've got a $10 offer for that. And it wasn't going far, just five miles away, and I don't even think it was that, to be fair. But the main roads were pretty darn clear uh, for the most part. But going, the, seems a bit juddery on this video for some reason, I don't know why. But anyway, it seemed like uh, the, the main roads were re real clear for the most part. There was obviously uh, bits and pieces that were a bit sketchy because stuff had been dropped by other vehicles and uh, where the snowplow hadn't got it all, I suppose, or and such. But this was actually the one and only job that I ended up doing. And, um, well, you'll see it in a moment. You'll see uh, how it is. But, yeah, you get to see our delivery area here. You've got O'Reilly's and such and Custard Last Stand. We just passed there over on the right, along with Hawaiian Brothers just a bit before Custard's Last Stand. And then over here, turning left onto 5th Street, or oh, well, 5th Terrace, excuse me. Well, the plough hadn't been up there too well. <laughs> it had been snowing most of the day, so maybe they just had problems catching up, keeping up with it all. But it was definitely a tad dicey as we turned here into Melody Lane. For sure, you don't want to get too far over to the right here because a bit of a dip in the ground there. But I got up here, was a little bit apprehensive about going into uh, the car park here because it goes up a bit of a gradient and 
as you can see, they didn't clear it too well. So I was thankful no one was coming because I wasn't sure I'd be able to get up it if I had to stop. But yeah, we was just going to China 88 over here. And there were some people waiting and waiting in there when I went in, but when the uh, hostess, I suppose, had finished dealing with someone, I was able to, uh, she checked all the orders there and uh, gave me the bag that, that I uh, was there for. I was in and out of there pretty quick, quicker than I thought it was going to be. They do get a bit backed up at this place as well, so, and it seemed like uh, when I was looking at the offers that were coming through, Chinese restaurants seemed to be uh, pretty prevalent that, that night, along with pizzas as well. There's Bella's over there to the right, real nice restaurant to go to. Unfortunately, their packaging of uh, Packaging of food for delivery isn't that brilliant. It's diabolical, to be fair. But nice people in there, but it was just... Uh, and it's a real nice restaurant. But not that expensive either, which is uh, pretty good. But here we go, back down Melody Lane and into Fifth Terrace. No, I didn't bother to stop for the stop sign because, well, I saw no point. No one was there and I didn't want to play the flipping slide around, the flipping game, flipping, trying to get along. Trying to, uh, even though there was a lot of weight in the back of the uh, truck at that day, because it was just packed with snow, uh, it still wasn't enough to uh, keep the uh, back wheels from... Uh, sliding because it's rear wheel drive only on this truck now here we go we go back past up 291 highway here we're going past what's that Casey's yep Casey's over there to the left turn just across uh, there and we're going to take a right at the next traffic light which is length of the road A little bit different doing this one today if you can, uh, definitely different ride along I suppose we'll do a ride over here on Langsford and we just go up here for s several miles there's big lots over to the right and you've got Vipin and McShite over to the left and uh, High V petrol station there over to the left too looks like I was doing well for vipping traffic lights that, that night it was good it certainly did vip in snow and it looks like we got more on the way joy joys The snow might look great on postcards, but you, when you're actually working in it, it's uh, a royal pain in the flipping rear end, that's for sure. Not only having to worry about what you're doing, is worrying about what other drivers are doing, whether they can actually uh, control their vehicles out in the, out in the bad weather. I mean, there's some absolute donkeys on the road, to say the least. That don't understand about vipping stopping distances. They get all these uh, safety features on, on the vehicles and think they're all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive and think they're bloody invincible. Well, no, you're flipping not. When one wheel flip, when... Whether it's rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, whether you've got two wheels flipping driving the car or four wheels driving the car, if you hit ice, it don't matter. You've just got flipping more wheels spinning as you slide flipping towards something. Don't make that mistake. 
So, so we're not turning up this road then, all right. I thought that was where I was turning. Hmm. Oh no, it was the other swipe on it, okay. So the road got a little bit dicier as we went up here. I was a, bit, a little bit uh, worried about that bit. Cars coming one way, coming on towards us and the plough hadn't done the other side of the road too well. We needed to stretch it over a little bit more because it wasn't giving a lot of room for the other the drivers going going the other way. Okay, so I thought that this the reason I took this job is I thought that this road would be nice and nice and ploughed out because it's actually a pretty nice sweeping neighbourhood. But as you can see, I was wrong. <laughs> Looks like I'd done a little bit, but not too too brilliant. Yeah, so it just concentrated on the uh, the main roads rather than the side roads. Still a lot of houses got uh, Christmas lights up, which is pretty nice. I, we like to see the lights. I don't like to see the lights come down the next day. A lot of people take them down the next day what we call Boxing Day in England. In Canada, apparently, they call it that too. The summer up here is the street that I'm going to be turning on. And look how much fun we're about if you've been getting it get in just a few seconds. A nice house over to the left there. Notice that coming out blue and white lights on it. Don't recall seeing it over the Christmas period. I guess I didn't come up this road too much. Or maybe not at all. And look, it is fun. I came down here and now I was in Fipping. Uh, I'd messaged a person on this saying that we was on our way. And they never even thought to tell me, oh, by the way, we still got snow on our drive. They hadn't even touched their driveway. And bearing in mind we'd had six inches of the bloody fipping lovely white stuff fall to the ground, which was rather wet and heavy. But you'll see me get out in a moment where I'd parked or where I got where the, where the uh, truck stopped was uh, right in the crevice of the uh, the driveway going up and of course going down. So as I got out, it was a bit of a uh, longer drop. And then I go up to the house and I'm trying to pip in. Uh, figure out where the bloody pathway is because they hadn't even done the pathway or the steps so at that stage I was pretty pissed because they could have said about that they hadn't cleaned the steps they hadn't done anything they didn't even put a broom or anything to the steps it was just thick with flipping snow and I, w I got up on the first step to uh, deliver the food and I just dumped it on the fipping put on the porch. Went, I ain't going anymore. I just leaned over, put it there, took a picture of it, went to turn around to get out. I'm sure they fipping heard me on the camera and I'm damn sure I wouldn't get a fipping tip. No, I wouldn't get an extra tip off of that ring doorbell if they had one because I weren't happy. At bloody all. Anyway, the lady came out of the house and stated to me, said to me, oh, we haven't put the shovel out here. We haven't done it on the steps either. Well, thanks for coming out and tell me what I already bloody well know. Anyway, with that, I just turned around and went back to the truck. And uh, then had the fun, 
got through. I, got, I had to take a couple of breathers coming back down that flipping hill because, as I said, it was a thick and uh, heavy snow, wet snow, and it was hard going coming through that. It was quickly hard going. But I got, made my way to the uh, the truck and then had to climb up into it, which my little legs... And I didn't want to get on that side step either because there's not a lot of room to get on there, especially if it's uh, full of snow, even if I brushed it off. But the bottom of my shoes were packed up with it too, so it was uh, not much fun trying to get into it. Plus I was a bit of uh, in a pissed off state to say the least. And that was one way reason, another reason why I cut the uh, the recording, the uh, original recording off of here, is because well, there would have been an awful lot of bleeps, because I was not happy, to say the bloody least. But managed to get off their driveway, okay, backed off of there, no problem, and. Uh, Had a bit of a problem trying to uh, get going again, going forwards, but the rear wheels were sliding. Not because I was purposely spinning it, it was just because they got stuck on a bit of an icy patch. But here's how much I got for that one. And uh, just at that point, actually, Mrs. Womble turned around and said, I think that should do it, I think we should just go home. And for a change, I actually agreed with her. So, uh, although I did, I thought, no, no, I'll carry. I'll, I thought about carrying on, but then I, then I was just looking at the other roads, and as we were going back down Langsford, I was just looking more at the side streets, and went, nah, this, yeah, you're right, let's go. So that was it. That was the end of the night. But it was totally it, it was uh, totally different the next day. That's for sure. Cause well, you'll see in the next video. But no, that was the end of our night. So I'm just gonna put some music on here, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this video. It's uh, as I said, it's a bit, bit different just because of the uh, voiceover. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, we'll have some uh, more videos coming soon. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button if you've uh, in if you haven't. It's free to join, and hit the thumbs up too. That uh, makes uh, YouTube's algorithm do some funny stuff and tells it tells everybody that we're doing a great job, or a good job, or not. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Stay safe. Ta-da.
He dashes here. He dashes there. He dashes every bloody where. He dashes up. He dashes down. That dashing womble gets all over town. Whoa!